Hello again. Now the main stories in London. A close friend of the police officer and rugby coach who was shot dead in Croydon has told ITV News he will remember his smile and energy and for being a decent, honourable guy. Sergeant Matt Rottener, who was originally from New Zealand, was shot five times by a handcuffed suspect at the Croydon Custody Centre yesterday. As forces across the country lowered their flags as a mark of respect to Matt, his boss, Dame Cressida Dick, also paid tribute to a talented, friendly and capable police officer. From Croydon, Rachel Brown reports. A father, a partner and a long-serving police sergeant shot dead while keeping others safe. 54-year-old Matt Ratner, originally from New Zealand, was described by his policing family as a friendly and talented officer. His colleagues knew him as a big guy, big in stature, big in heart, friendly, capable, a lovely man, highly respected by his colleagues. After 30 years in the police, Matt was just months away from retirement until that was stripped away from him in the cruelest of ways. Shot in the chest while at work by a suspect being checked into custody. The police watchdog, the Independent Office of Police Conduct, say the 23-year-old was arrested on suspicion of possession of drugs and ammunition. And while being searched at this police custody behind me, he opened fire. He shot Matt Ratner five times before he turned the gun on himself. They say that he was handcuffed at all times. The suspect remains in hospital and said to be in a critical condition. Matt was a rugby fanatic. I'm Matt Ratner, head coach. Dreaming of the day he could set up his own rugby club. History of growing grassroots rugby. In the morning, he'd phone me up on his way back from the cells, um, you know, having finished a night shift, and uh, just talk through his latest ideas about rugby, really. Jay Holt coached alongside him at Hove Rugby. I think I remember his smile. Some people are really good at cutting through all the background noise and seeing what's important. From strangers, friends and colleagues. The flowers keep on coming. But how a gun was smuggled into the precinct of a police facility and then used to kill an officer is still unknown. Tomorrow is National Police Memorial Day. And more so than ever, this will be a time of deep reflection. Rachel Brown, ITV News.